Hey everybody, this is BT broadcasting live with your Sepang MotoGP review. And if you're wondering where I'm uh, broadcasting from, uh, it's from the lovely Bahamas. Take a look. Yeah, I know, you're jealous. That's okay. Let's get down to it. Um, first of all, Moto3, I tell you, man, Salome came out like a champion. Showed him what he was about. He waited, waited, boom, uh, made his mark. Uh, Alex Renz did a great job, too. I'll tell you, uh, little Marquez, Alex Marquez did a great job. Uh, he tried to hang with the big boys. Didn't get uh, didn't get on the podium, and I think uh, Maverick Vinales just shot himself in the foot. I don't know what's wrong with that kid. I don't know if um, it's the bike. I don't know if it's him. Maybe he got a bad girlfriend. Uh, he's been having food poisoning for the rest of the last three months. I don't know what it is. I really don't. I just remember he used to be tough. He used to be like, like this is an animal, man. He would put people in the dirt. And uh, But now it's like, I don't know, maybe he's in the new age music. I don't know what it is. But um, uh, big props to uh, Salome. You know, uh, he's showing what the champion is made of. It's going to go down to he and Renz, the last race of the year. And it's going to be winner take all. I think it's going to be great. He's healthy. Renz is healthy. So it's going to be great racing. Uh, let's move on to Moto2. And uh, let me tell you something. That crash was scary. Uh, thank God. Uh, everybody was okay, but it is Sepang, so it's uh, Malaysia, so it's thank Buddha, thank, uh, I don't know, Buddha, God, whatever you worship, I don't know, um, thank, I'm just glad everybody was okay, that was a scary crash, and to Alex Pons, I mean, I don't want to tell anybody uh, how to live their life, but, I mean, he's had crashes, I think, in every week, as every week, I think, but I, I think Christina, my friend, said 27 crashes in 27 races, something like that, either way, uh, maybe he should get into go-kart racing. I mean, I don't know. Maybe? Um, I don't want to see anybody hurt. Nobody does. That's what I love about MotoGP and the fans. No one wants to see anybody ever hurt or even wreck, have a wreck. Nobody wants that. Um, I'm just glad everybody's okay. So, uh, But then again, no, I don't know about you guys, but when that bike was landing in, 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 on the track, it was there for a little bit, and you think maybe the guy should have saw it. It wasn't like he was coming off of a another rider and it was like uh oh it was like the bike was there for a minute you know and it wasn't like he was coming over a ridge but I don't know I don't race but you think he would have saw it but it was a horrible crash everybody was okay thank goodness um Moto2 let me tell you something man people are talking about you know what's wrong with Redding uh can a spark go catch him nobody mentions Tito Rebutt Tito Rebutt if you don't like Tito Rebutt honestly dig a hole if you don't like Tito Rebutt right now, you're watching me go, I can't stand Tito Rebutt. I want you to go go to Home Depot, get a shovel, dig the biggest hole you can, put yourself in that hole, call me, I will come over to your house, and I will put dirt over you while you're in that hole. Because Tito Rebutt is the nicest guy you ever want to meet. You got to know Tito Rebutt, know his story. He's the greatest guy. I love Tito Rebutt. Did you see that interview afterwards when everybody was so sweaty and tired? He was like, yes, I want to thank my, I want to thank my team, and I want to thank... Everyone, the race was good. His, his interview was 27 seconds. I mean, that's how hot and sweaty he was. And Aspargo was just happy to finish the race. He's got the greatest smile, Aspargo. And he's like, you know, I think the team, it was, it was Tito's race. It was Tito's race, you know, it's Tito. And poor Redding, man. I think the pressure's getting to him. It's like that, that water's rising and Redding's like, God, it, was, it, it was the rear tire. That's what it was, the rear tire. And I don't know. It's going to come down to the last race, too, with Moto2. And it's going to be great. Um, uh, Valencia, I want to see a three-way tie because we're talking about a spark go catch him. He's only nine points back, but Rebutt's only 27 points back. I think it's 27, 29 points back with three races to go. And Rebutt's got that, that kind of like, hey, nobody's talking about me over here. And look what I'm doing. You know what I mean? So uh, props to him, man. Tito's bringing it. Uh, so uh, I hope it comes down to the last race of the year with Moto2, just like Moto3. And, uh, and winner take all, and I love it. Uh, Scott Reddy, I don't know what it was. I mean, that red flag did it, man. He did a great job on the start on the first one. And then that second race came after the red flag. That second race came, and uh, like he said, people want to go for the lead in that first turn. And with Moto2, man, it, it's like World Super Sport. It's like a whole bunch of Keenan Safagalus. That's what it's like. So anyway, uh, Moto2, congratulations, Tito Rebutt. Again, if you don't like Tito Rebutt, Throw yourself in a hole, okay? Seriously, throw yourself in a hole and call me, and I'll put dirt over that hole. Because nobody disrespects or dislikes Tito Rebutt. Moving on to um, MotoGP. Man, anybody see that press conference before? It was just ugly. How nobody liked Marquez. Even Rossi wasn't sitting next to Marquez, if you noticed. And Marquez is just kind of like, well, you know, I mean, you know. 
anyway, um, I thought it was kind of bad. So Marquez, I thought raced with a little, with a little more, a little more caution than he's ever raced with before. But uh, you know, props to Danny. Danny did what he had to do, and he won. So good luck. Uh, afterwards, I hated that. They kind of it was kind of like a um, like when he and Marquez kind of shook hands. It was like yeah, whatever. Kind of like yeah, whatever. And Marquez is always like. And Danny was like, yeah, whatever. And every interview he had, it was like, well, you know, you can't go back. I mean, it sucks because Aragon, we could have, we could have, you know, we had the same setting. We could have won the championship. And no, you wouldn't have, dude. Seriously, Marquez would have caught you like he caught Lorenzo. And he would have passed you like he did Lorenzo. And he said that in the interview. He tried to be nice about it. But when they asked him, could you have caught him? What did he say? He goes, uh, you know, Danny, basically Danny put the hammer down. But he goes, eh, it's too risky to try to catch him. But trust me, if Marquez wants to catch you, he's like the cops. If they want you, they're going to find you. And Marquez is like the police. He's like the police. Oh, if I want you, I'll catch you. But don't get me wrong, Danny rode a good race. No disrespect to Danny, he rode a good race. It was nice to see Jorge and uh, Marquez kind of kind of bump each other. And Marquez ain't afraid of the battle. Marquez is like, yeah, really? Oh, okay, so you want to play? Okay. Dang. I love that, man. I love that. I thought it was a great race. I thought it was a good race. Rossi tried to hang in there with him, and it hurts my heart to say this. Rossi tried to hang in there with him, but, man, this is the three big dogs. You know, the three big dogs come to eat. Dogs got to eat. Big dog got to eat. And uh, Rossi tried, but, man, they, 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 they sped away from him. And I hate to see it happen, man. I, just, I love 46. I love what he's done for the sport. You can't – I mean, everybody loves 46, but, man, it's just – it is what it is. And the big and the big boys, you know, they they prevailed that weekend. So props to Danny, even though he bitch, he's still kind of underlying like, hey, we could have been in the hunt for the championship if this guy over here wouldn't have put me in uh into the gravel and made me high side. But it is what it is, man. Um, if you saw the uh, the uh, somebody sent me, thank you so much, Deborah and John. He sent me the the uh, the link of uh, Marquez and Batista singing uh, back up. And I tell you, that's why you love Marquez. When he's off that bike, that kid just enjoys life. He's just goofy and fun and gets drunk like any other kid. He just happens to be the best motorcycle racer in the world. So anyway, thought the races were good. My rider of the race goes to Miguel Oliveira. Good for him. He hung with the big boys for the race in Moto3. Hung with the big boys. Got himself a podium. Way to go, Miguel Oliveira. Go celebrate. Uh, have a good time. And um, I thought it was a good race. Anybody else? Uh, any other comments I'm missing? But rider of the race goes to Miguel Oliveira. Uh, great race, MotoGP. I think Marquez can do it, but he does choke a little. He does choke a little. The closer he gets to that championship, and all he has to do is seal it. He does kind of. He does uh, leave the door open. That's what it, he leaves the door open. Let's put it that way. And the only thing he doesn't do well is starts. He even wheelied off the start, which I wheelie off the starts, but I don't race MotoGP. But anyway. I love the races. Um, thank God everybody's okay. I'm just gonna say it like this, and I don't mean disrespect. If anybody's watching this from Sepang. If anybody's watching this, listen, I, I don't like Sepang. I don't like that racetrack. I, I, I just think the track workers are, are, I don't like, I don't like anything about that track, especially what happened with, um, with Sick, we all know, with uh, Simocelli. And um, I just think the track workers don't know what they're doing. And there's water on the track that they don't alert people. And, they, and it just weirds me out. When, they have, when if you see those track workers with all the cloth on, then they have the goggles on, you can't see their faces. I don't know why, but it just weirds me out. Like, what are you hiding, dude? Like, you know, it's it's hot over there. It's hot as balls. And you're going to wear all that hot shit? I don't know, man. They just weird me out over there. I, I don't like the track. I'm just glad everybody's safe. But that Moto 2 crash was scary. Thank God. Thank Buddha. Thank everybody. Allah. Thank everybody. Everybody was okay in that wreck. And um, let's try to never go back to the thing again. So, God bless everybody. Hope you have a good time. I'm going to go down by the beach and have a good time. And enjoy my tasty beverages. So thank you so much for listening, and I hope you enjoy. I'll talk to you later uh, next week from down under. Maybe Casey gets a, uh, maybe Casey Stoner gets a uh, wild card ride. You never know. Stay tuned. Talk to you later.